Dictionary comprehension saves you time and makes your code a lot simpler. Let's take a look at the two examples on the screen. What would you rather code out? In today's video, we're going to be going over 11 different examples of dictionary comprehension. We're going to start very basic uh, by just adding 15 to values in a dictionary, and then we're going to expand upon it. We're going to take a look at creating dictionaries from lists and tuples. We're going to look at if statements, functions, and much more. With that being said, you should have a little bit of an understanding how dictionaries work before watching this video. If you don't, make sure to watch my dictionary video that I already have on the channel before jumping into this. Also, I wanted to go over really quickly the syntax before we start coding. So dictionary comprehension works like this. So we're gonna create a brand new dictionary, I have dictionary over the left, where that equals key and expression for key comma value in iterable. And while this may sound confusing, as you go through the examples, you'll see how quickly it is to learn the syntax. It's honestly not too bad. All right, let's start coding. All right, so let's start off with example number one. And what we're gonna do for this one is add 15 to each value in a dictionary. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna create a dictionary called concerts. And inside over here, we're gonna add a bunch of bands. So let's start off with trivium over here. And let's assume that they played a, a volume of a hundred decibels. It's, it's just a hundred. I'm gonna add the DB part. Uh, then we're gonna have nine inch nails. Nine inch nails. Uh, they were very loud when I saw them live. Let's say they're at 120. And these numbers are fictitious, by the way. Um, then we're gonna have Foo Fighters. They were at 90. And then uh, good old Queens of the Stone Age. Stone each, and let's assume they were at 110, okay? So that's our concert dictionary, and I just started my Google Colab, so it's gonna take a second to load this, but that's all right. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new dictionary called New Concerts. And inside, over here, we're gonna do some dictionary comprehension. So what we're gonna say is key, we're gonna put a colon, we're gonna say value plus 15, for key and value in concerts items. Okay. And that's done over here. And now let's just print out new concerts. Print out our new concerts. And check it out. Trivium 115 at nine inch nails at 135. Foo Fighters 105. Queens of the Stone Age 125. Each of these have 15 added to it. So key, right, value plus 15, right, our action over here for the key and value in items. So let's go on to example number two now. We're going to say example two, band, how loud the concert is. Concert is, and we're going to be using if, and I don't think the sentence really made that sense. This sentence didn't really make sense, but uh, we'll rewrite this example two. If statement based on how loud the concert was, concert was or is, either way, we're gonna keep moving forward. So what we're gonna build out over here is uh, filtered bands. So filtered bands, and we're gonna say that equals to Band for band and DB and concerts the items if DB is greater than 101. Okay. And if you look at our syntax, we had key and value. This time we just put band and DB, right? For band and DB in concerts items. Right, if decibel is less than 101, when we go back to original list, we have Trivium and Foo Fighters that should show up for that. And uh, go down below and print out filtered bands. Print filtered bands, Trivium with 100, and Foo Fighters with 90. 
we have our if statement here at the very last part of dictionary comprehension, right? What we're grabbing is the band in the decibels. That's why we have trivium here, 100 decibels, Foo Fighters and 90. For band and decibels in the concert.items, right? If decibel, it's greater than 101. So example three over here. Example three, what we're gonna do is create a dictionary, create a dictionary from a list. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have songs. And I'm gonna put a few songs in over here for Nine Inch Nails. March of the Pigs. Copy of a. Copy of a. And wish. Those over here. And then we're gonna have over here song length. And the equal to song. Inside over here, we're going to say the length of the song for song in songs, right? Uh, we have this list over here of songs, and we're going to find the length of a song, which needs to be capitalist because I have capitalist over here for the song in here. So we'll send length of March Pigs, copy of a and wish. Double click that. That's all right. And then we can just print out over here song length. And you'll see we have March the Pigs, 17, copy of uh, 9, and then Wish being 4. Okay, now let's take a look at creating a dictionary from two lists. So I'm just going to copy that. We're going to scroll up a little bit. So we're going to say create a dictionary from two lists and build it out. So I'm going to continue to use the songs because I already have that typed out. Didn't technically need to rerun that, but that's okay. And I'm gonna put the albums associated with them. So up first we have the downward spiral. So downward, downward spiral, which I believe is 30 years now. Uh, then we're gonna have hesitation marks, hesitation marks, and then broken. That's our albums. And then we're going to create a nine inch nails dictionary. So nine inch nails dict, we're going to say that's equal to, and we're going to create a dictionary over here. We're going to say songs, we're going to say albums for songs and albums in, and then we're going to zip the list of the songs and albums like that. And now I go down over here and print out, print nine inch nails dict, we have March the Pigs, Downward Spiral, Copy of a Hesitation Marks, and Wish being broken. Okay, so example five, we're gonna take a look at building a dictionary from tuples. So building a dictionary from tuples. And here's how we achieve that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have sports gonna equal inside over here. We're gonna have our tuples. So we're gonna have baseball, baseball, then we're gonna have Babe Ruth in here, so Babe Ruth. Then we're gonna have hockey. And put Wayne Gretzky. Then we're gonna have cricket and put Don and Bradman. Essentially goats of their sports. So crickets, you have I know Sasha and Tindulkar is also really good, but Bradman is the goat of at least the pre-war side of things. But we'll run sports on this side of things. Okay, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new sports dictionary. So sports dictionary, and we're gonna say that's equal to, and here we're gonna say sports zero. We're gonna say sports one for sport in sports and if you take a look at this next line baseball Babe Ruth hockey Wayne Gretzky cricket Don Bradman let's take a look at a functions example so it's gonna be example six functions and inside over here let's create a square so def square x 
return x times x. Okay. And then we have that. And we're going to create a new dictionary. So we'll call it like square dict equals. And we're going to say num and square that number. So square that number or num in range and one through 11. And I guess we also should put over here functions and use of range. I think on my other list comprehension, I use range differently, but um, you get a two for one in this example. So let's run that. And if you're not too familiar with how range works, we'll start with one and we'll end it with 10. And you can see one, 10, and you see all the squares associated with it, um, number, and then what's it squared? Two, four, three, nine, four, sixteen, et cetera, all the way through 100. Let's take a look at word frequency. And uh, it's going to be through example seven. So example seven, word frequency. And let's move forward. Okay. So what I'm going to do first is I'm not going to type this out, but these are the lyrics for pig on uh, Nine Inch Nails. And you can see a lot of repetitive words on here. Let's build out our word frequency. So word frequency equals, and we're going to have word. I'm going to say pig lyrics dot counts. We'll put our word in here. And we're going to say for word in set. And we're going to grab pig lyrics again. So pig lyrics, we're going to split. It. So split that. And with this line of code, you can see how every word. So we have nothing, right? Four, one, two, three, four. Don't care now. Those are all four. Can stop for any more two. Cause for I for and me being for. Pretty common use case for this. We're going to take a look at uh, example eight, enumerating. So example eight, enumerate. And uh, we're going forward. So what we're going to say is lyric words equals. And then I essentially grabbed all of these words. And you can feel free to copy the example code. I'm actually going to build out an article on this. So I just grabbed from my website. I, I can also post this in the description or the comment section. But uh, lyric words, nothing can stop me now because I don't care, right? And then what we're going to write on here next is we're going to say index. We're going to say index equals, let's say I, J, for I, and J, and enumerate the lyric words. So it's like that. And you can change this up too, right? Like I've talked about over here. You can have like word lyric. I mean, these are interchangeable. So we'll go over here and we're gonna print out the indexes. And you can see zero, nothing, one, can, two, stop me, three, because I don't care. You can see how all these are built in like that. Then what we're gonna do is enumerate and reverse key values. So we're gonna essentially do this again. Uh, this is example nine, enumerates and reverse key value on here. So like imagine you wanted nothing here and then you wanted uh, zero to the right, can with one in the right, we can actually reverse this. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna create index v2 v2 like this, instead of i, j, right? Um, we have i, j here, and it says for i, j, you just switch these. So you have j, i, and everything else is the same, and this just reverses it, which is kind of helpful if you want to change the formatting. Uh, actually, let me print this out. So print, and we have index v2, and you can see that these are now swapped. So. What we have over here in this four, if you reverse them like that, you swap how this is presented. And uh, 
Let me show you example 10 we can remove from a dictionary. So example 10, remove from dictionary. And let's go over here and we'll say bands seen live equals, and we'll put over here, bear tooth, say five trivium, so five shine down for currents also for I think that's what I had in my example code let me just double check oh I put two more bands let me put them in here and you don't have to follow exactly the tutorial put silence planet for and lastly death cab for cutie okay so we have all these for scene live on the band scene live side of things. And then we're gonna create something called metal bands. Now, not all these bands that I've seen live are metal bands. Uh, so what we're gonna do is filter out. So essentially what we're gonna say is band, and then for band and band scene live, like that, okay. And what we're gonna grab is the band, right? So what's the band and the band seems live? And we're gonna say for band in band C live keys and then we're going to do a subtraction I'm going to say minus and inside over here we are going to minus two bands so shine down is not a metal band they are rock great band live and same with death cab for cutie they're more on the soft rock side of things but they're not a metal band so put that on here and what we're going to do is we're going to print out so print and we're going to print out our metal bands and check it out trivium current silent planet and bear tooth are metal bands that i've seen live all the time and lastly we're going to have an example it's pretty similar so example 11 i uh, extract a subset so extract these subsets and in over here what we're going to do is create something called rock bands. So we're gonna say rock bands equals, inside over here, we're gonna say band, and literally it's gonna be the same, well, let me actually just copy this code, show you the little differences, it's pretty similar. So we're gonna have band, band sees live, band for bands, and band sees live keys. We don't need any of that, so we're gonna say bands in, and then we're gonna just say, Shine down and also death cab for cutie. Death cab for cutie. These rock bands. And if I print out rock bands, print rock bands, shine down, and death cab for cutie. All right, before closing out the video, just wanted to say a few more things with this code. Um, these parentheses that I have over here are optional. I included it with some examples in the code, such as the first one over here, and then one went down over here and enumerating and reversing um, with the I and J, but it's optional. If you like how this looks in dictionary comprehension, use it. If you don't, don't use it. I just wanted to show you guys multiple ways that you could write out this code. Uh, same thing over here, right? You could say I, J, you could say X, Y, right? You can do key and value like I did with this first example over here. Or you can base it, you know, what you have over here, like bands, decibel, song, we did the song length, right? Totally up to you. Whatever increases the readability, and if you have an understanding of how the code works, awesome, right? And I only showed you guys, what, 10 or 11 different examples through this video. There's a lot more use cases as well. This just scratched the surface. Hey, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you learned something new, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Now. If you were going to continue to learn more about Python, I have a few videos down below and a playlist that you can check out. I'll also be linking the playlist right over here.